Check it here, bring you another Boom Beach video. In today's video, guys, wanted to talk about what has somewhat been a controversial topic, not really, um, over the past few days here. So recently, we had a trade come in from the trader that, oh yeah, I forgot we had Rainmakers. Um, I haven't even been using them. Um, but we recently got a trade from the trader that brought in Power Powder for uh, a diamond purchase. And a lot of people were upset. I made a video on this, but it was more so just saying that it was here. Um, and you know, I'm going to stand by what I said uh, exactly in that video. And that was basically that, you know, I don't think it's pay to win. I don't think it's game breaking as long as they do a few things properly. And so far, they, they, they've been able to do that. So those key things that I think they need to continue, continue to do uh, if they are going to make power power available for purchase. Um, let's go, let's get into some of those. So it can't be, it can't ever just become as much as you're willing to spend money on the game, you can get power powder, power powder out of that. I think that doesn't make any sense. I think they know that. I, I, I don't think that's ever going to really, um, be pushed uh, by Supercell. You know, they don't want their game to be paid at win either from um, from what I've seen anyways, because there are like lots of ways that they could do that, that they haven't so far. So, um, yeah, the first thing is th there has to be some sort of cap on how much you can purchase at one time. That's exactly what it was with the trader. You could get up to 16 power powder and then that's it. And guys, keep in mind, this deal has only ever happened twice in history now. This is not a, this is not a common occurrence. They brought out the first one um, before a Mega Crab, and I feel like, you know, I feel like if they're going to, if they're going to, um, let's just show off the street here. I feel like if they're going to bring Power Powder out, and they do it right before the Crab, most people are going to spend Power Powder on the Crab anyways. So, you know, and not to say that it doesn't affect the economy of, of Powder, because it does a little bit, but it, you're getting so, such a little amount that it's not really, you know, it's not really a big deal. It's not, um, it's not anything to go too crazy about, like... Sure, if, like we said earlier, kind of, if um, if you were able to purchase 100 Power Powder for $100 an unlimited amount of times, yes, of course, that would be a problem. Because the problem with that is, is, uh, you know, those heavy ice bases, then they're just going to be boosted 24-7. There's nothing you can do about it. If you don't have the, uh, if you don't have the skill or the, uh, the statues to take that down, then you're kind of out of luck because that's a lot of boost to, uh, to have to continually deal with. Um... But yeah, other than that, it, um, you know, I feel like they, in, in my opinion, it should be more frequent, you know, like we should, there should be a crab, there should be a crab powder deal every single time the, um, the crab comes here, right? Um, I would be okay with that. But at this, you know, the, this, the same rules apply, like still put a cap on it, still make it, you can only buy this many. Um, and you know, I, I, I feel like that's the correct way to go about doing it. Um, now the hard thing about this is people that have diamonds in the game that are low level that are trying or that are trying to vp push they're spending all their diamonds on upgrades and on and on uh finishing their their troops if they're doing a, a victory point push right that's where typically all the diamonds are going to go for uh for the the uh for the the normal free to play player so for them i could see it being a bit of an issue saying like hey look i've got all these diamonds that I, you know, it took a very long time to get them because you don't get a ton of them in the game, um, just throughout uh, regular playing. But, you know, now I'm kind of forced to spend them on these uh, on these power powers to keep up with everyone else that is already maxed out. Like it, it's um, it's very helpful for max level players, not so much for anybody else, right? Um, I think that makes sense. So let me know what you guys think of this down below in that comment section, guys. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and shock right here. Um, but yeah, in my opinion, I think it's fine. I think it's good. Uh, I like seeing the power powder deals. Do I want to see them, you know, uh, go crazy with them and just have them available every single weekend? No, of course not. Um, but it's all about balance, right? Same as anything in life, guys. It's all about balance. So, uh, we're getting absolutely shredded here. Let's just go ahead and, uh, retreat. Uh, that's enough with the Rainmakers, man. They're just too slow. They're fun. They're good, but they're just too slow for the chicken. Um, so let's bust out... Uh, let's go with some, let's go with some 2-6 taunt in preparation for, you know, we're always kind of prepping for the next Mega Crab, guys, because there's always one right around the corner now, but, um, but yeah, I don't know. I'm, like, I love the monthly Mega Crabs, but it's also kind of a, 
You do get a little bit of burnout on them. I feel like if they reduce the time to... This one's going to be really cool, actually, just because, um, you know, uh, apparently we get all the attacks up front. We, the no attack reload time, something like that. We're not sure exactly how that's going to work just yet. Um, even behind the scenes, the chicken isn't aware yet. So it's going to be, you know, everyone's going to be on the same page there. We're all going to know uh, what to expect when we know to expect it. But it's going to be very interesting to see if that kind of helps with the crab burnout because I've definitely experienced that over the last couple monthly mega crabs it's been you know what it, it's still fun but it does become a bit of a chore um you know if you if you're like the chicken and you feel like you have to get that diamond trophy if that is within your uh, physical means to do um so it's gonna be very interesting to see if uh you know if these unlimited attacks or whatever they can actually help with that and i'm excited man i think it's gonna be a lot of fun and you know as long as they keep making these little tweaks and changes here and there i think that's great i think that is um you know, I think that's the direction that they need to go for the Mega Crab. But, uh, but yeah, guys, I think I'm going to wrap it up there today. Um, keeping it a little bit short, I had a ton of freaking issues trying to get the, the video stuff to, to work today. So I'm not going to push it too, too far. Um, but, yeah, so I'll, I'll throw that out to you guys. Uh, let me know what you think or what, what would be... Here's the question. What would be your ideal uh, power powder purchasing? Would, it, would you want to see it, like... In the shop but have like a hard cap on it that you can only buy it x amount of times or do you like seeing it kind of just come in randomly at the trader um i don't know i'm gonna throw that to you guys let me know what you think down below in that comment section guys as always thank you so much for watching that is gonna wrap it up for the video today make sure to leave a like if you found it interesting entertaining or informative and we'll see you next one guys chicken out forever